What I do, baby. Episode 3. A herbivorous, herbivorous dragon of 5,000 years gets unfairly villainized. Episode 3. Things have been good thus far, you know. Our boy dragon trying to get out of the place, trying to get out of her sight. <laughs> trying to just leave her in the city so she could focus on doing her own thing instead of being with these crazy villagers that, you know, sent her as a sacrifice to the dragon. But um, hopefully we get more backstory towards her family. Not, not you know, their deaths per se, but <clears throat> how much of an influence they have and the good things they did. Probably stuff like that. Uh, anyways, again, uh, let's get into it. Bulla, bulla. A billa billa production. <laughs> this is this is us right now. No one told me it came out. <laughs> It's a relatively short show, so I'm gonna be watching the OP and ED just like I normally do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This girl literally creates superpower abilities for the dragon using her uh, on herself without the dragon actually being able to do any of those powers. Like this is getting it's kind of out of hand. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure she's also the reason this dragon can even fly. Like, how the can he fly? I'm pretty sure he couldn't fly without her. Like, right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> she, because he only gets the wings whenever she, the dragon only gets the wings when the girl's behind on top of him. So, <laughs> you will always be my great evil dragon. <clears throat> Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> we must repair. Yep, that's that's it. What? <laughs> it really is her though. It's just all her. Okay. Okay, that's good. I love that the dragon's got like full empathy. <laughs> He explained everything. Oh my gosh. It's the truth. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Maybe she's one. She's a divine child. She could turn into a real evil dragon? What? She'll become a dragon? What do you mean? What? You're a loyal swordsman to the Demon King? Oh! Oh, don't kill her. Wait, wait, wait a second. We don't, we don't need to kill her. <laughs> He's a swordsman of the demon lord. What a twist. Well, she's using a dagger and you're using a whole ass broadsword, of course. What can you do, dragon? Dragon! We need to do something. Oh, right there. Dang, teleport too. No, Lingzi, Lingzi, or the, or the. There you go, Lingzi. Oh no, you gotta protect her. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. See you, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He didn't get hurt? What happened? What? What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it did, it would, it, it, it would. <laughs> creepy yo she's creepy no what do you mean <laughs> he 
Is this what is this what normal interactions is like with your captain? Are you kidding me? You defeated Rondia. Yes. Yes. <laughs> He was literally telling the truth the whole time. Like, I don't know why you... Why you... What? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she might lose all her powers. What? Um, what, what, what? <laughs> You'll have to keep hiding. You can keep the child with you. Raise her. She can protect you. Not so much belief she got in the dragon. The evil dragon. <laughs> well, at least we have someone on our side that actually understands what happened. Oh, he got smaller. He can change size? Oh, well, that's new. Can change size too. <laughs> it's pretty adorable. <laughs> you could be like plushy size. Yeah, yeah. Look at the ED. It would be plushy size. You could, you could be the giant size. I just checked the rest of the ED. No, okay, that's it. Episode three of the herbivorous evil dragon. Fifty thousand years, whatever, whatever. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed watching with me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you. See you.